Hello everyone, this is Mehe from Craft Design. As a part of our art series, today we are going to work on tulip bags. So let's start. As you can see, I have already made these tulip bags on a paper and um, I have used markers for the flowers and used watercolors for our background. So I'm going to show you how to draw a flowers and then later on we are going to color in it. So let's start. What are materials do we need for this art project? We need a plain paper or a sheet, white color. And I'm going to use Sharpie to draw. If you want, you can use pencil. Uh, or you can use sharp, whatever works best for you. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do. So first we're going to start with our flower in the center. We are going to make a U right there. Just a U shape. It's a letter U. And then from this side, we are going to make first petal. For that, you have to make a curve all the way down. And then from this side, try to make a curve like this. Right? And then from here, like from in the center of this line, you say, you can go all the way up and down and join this line, it's kind of upside down V. And then we are going to make stem. For that, just try to make two curves like this from both the sides. And then just stretch your line and go all the way down to make a straight line. Same we're gonna do on the other side. Make a straight line and go all the way down. See, isn't it simple? So we are going to make another flower over here. But now don't make your U. Over here we made our U straight. But for our next one, we are going to make a little bit down. So you can see it's sensibly went down. And kind of, well, slanting, facing back. Or if you think it's very really hard for you to make you like this, you can even take or flip, like turn your paper accordingly. So we're gonna start from here. Our first pattern, make a curve and draw one little bit down. From this side, all the way down, make a curve for your second pattern. Then kind of from the Center, we are going all the way up and then join this line in the center. So it's kind of the upside down V. And again, make a stem. We are going to make two lines like this little curve in there and then make a line. It's kind of not a straight, but a little curve. And then when it's going down, it's kind of being straight. And then on the other side, so again, we're not going all the way up, not exactly next to this part, but a little bit down. So again, I'm gonna make this flat a U shape, a little tilted like that. And from this end, I'm going to make my first pattern go all the way down. Then from here, touch this one. And then again, upside down, V. I'm going to make a little curve, two curves like this. And then make your line go all the way down. And from here, the line go all Right. So now we are done with our flowers. 
we are going to make leap now. How we're going to do that? Start all the way from the end and make the line tilt it like this. And then from all the way from the top of that line, try to make like this, V kind of thing. And then all the way join the curve, the curve like this. Simple. So I'm going to make one over here. There is not a room. So I'll just start from here, go all the way up like this. Make again V and just join this. Same over here. But this curve, your curve line, goes all the way back side. Like this. And then join all the way down. Right? And I'm going to make one more leaf over here on this side. So it's going, or just let's make on this side. All the way up like that, and then come down. So it's here. Right? I think we are done with that. And if you think the space is a little empty, we can add one leaf in there. So let's that's fine, or we can add one flower, anything. So with that, I, I, I'll go with the leaf. So I'll show you one more time. So it's gonna be like this, and then curl, and all the way down. So it's going to be like that, okay? So now we are going to color in it. And I'm going to use red color, purple, orange, yellow, and green. So let's start. I'm going to start with my first flower and I'm going to use purple for that. And make sure when you use these markers, try to go in one direction. So even if your lines are not visible, it will not look messy because your strokes or your lines are in the same direction. And even, see, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my lines or I'm going to color according to the shape of my pattern. So see how I'm going to be making a straight line like this and then going all the way to the line, right? See, same over here. Going to make color all the way, starting from this end to see, simple. And then I'm going to use green color for my stem. All the way, all the way down. Let's color my stem green. And even if you think you want to use paint in there, you can use paint, watercolor, or crayon, soft pastels, oil pastels, whatever you want to do. Color it. Pencil colors, you don't have to go with markers. And so I'm done with my stem and one flower. Let's go and do, I'm gonna show you how to do this leaf. So for that, I'm not uh, color it green. First I'm going to use yellow, just add a little bit of shade in there. So see, and a little bit on the top of that leaf, not all. Don't cover your leaf with that. And then I'm going to use green around it. So, it's not that we're gonna leave this yellow. We, of course, we are going to use a little bit of um, I mean green color on it. You can see it's kind of a little bit of shadow or light coming from down there, and it's because we have used yellow color. And now I'm going to use red for my this part. And again, I'll be coming like this. Starting from one direction and going all the way the other way. Going like this. Okay. 
And you know that uh, this tulip flower, this is the national flower of uh, Turkey. And also this year, I'm really miss my like going to tulip uh, festival. Like every year I used to go, but yeah, sadly, this year I miss that. So maybe next year. The tulips are really beautiful flowers. And now, yeah, I finished my red color. So I'm going to do my stem. So all the way down. Stem is pretty easy, I think, so it's almost done. For the leaf, I'm going to do the same thing. So the yellow all the way, a little bit on the top. Always one, and there is one more thing. Try not to, uh, when you color, use markers. Try not to use them really hard or press them really hard because then you will see that the paper will start ripping. So you don't want to put it in your hand. Always make sure to use soft hand while using markers. So I'm see, so I'm just going to curl all the way over here on that leaf, but I'm not going to color like hide all that yellow color. I'm just gonna rebuild it and just make a random line from that thing. Okay. Now I'm going to use orange color for my Red flower. So I just started from this petal, one direction. Orange is really, really pretty color. Mm -hmm. See, right? And then over here, starting from one side to the other, down. Like that. And if you want, you can use um, other colors too. You don't have to stick with orange color, purple, or red. You can use yellow flower or mix them up. If you're using some other color, you can mix it up and make different shades. If you're using paint, you can try to, I mean, fix up the colors, like shade, different shade of orange. This is kind of like for markers, we can't add shades in there. So for, if you're using paints or acrylic paint, you can add white color to make it more light and add little red color or some other color in it to make different colors. So you can just play with the colors, I mean with the paint, and then you can put it on the flower. So, but for markers, we are stick with just these colors. So see, I have finished the stem. Now I'm going to add yellow over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add over here too. So I have to these three and I'm going to add yellow over here too. So a little bit in here. That's all the section on the right. Yeah, for sure. Now like that. Like over here. So like this. And like that. Okay, and then we're going to do over here. So let's start from the other way down and then go up. And you know what? There are 150 species of tulip flowers. You all have tried. And I have heard they are used in cosmetic products, also in, I think, health benefits too. So, kind of flowers. So. One of the beautiful flowers. So here we go. So we are done with our three flowers and stick. Now what we're left with 
or background. And if you want to show a little bit of graph down there, so we are going to make a line like this. So it's going to be a random line, the straight lines, see? Just the zigzag lines. So looks like that our tulip is. Scroll in the graph. So here we go like that, see? Now, if it's up to you, if you want to leave your tulip flower like this with a white background, so you can just leave it white. And if you think you want to give some background back there, you can just use the color watercolor or any other color for that. So what I am going to do, I'm going to use watercolor for background. And so what we need for that, we need a watercolor. I have already mixed up the color. And usually um, I use cute ones. So I just put a lot of water in there. So I don't have to use water again and again on the paper. Um, and also, you don't have to do the background exactly what I'm doing. It's up to you. You can also use yellow color back there or green or any pastel or a light shade back there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start with my background and see. And it's really, really light. We don't want dark background back there. So it's just to give a little shade back here and also we are using watercolors so make sure they dry really quick and so your strokes should be really long start from one end to other make a long strokes like this and then just and so yeah Yeah, so for watercolor, I use like mason, uh, I mean water, and I put the water in the mason jar. And just using this, like, let's see, see, really shade. So, really kind of like this. to go all the way in. So if you think that uh, I'm using a little bigger brush and you can use whatever you are comfortable with, if you think it's really hard for you to go uh, use a uh, bigger brush and go on the small areas in there, so you can use small brush for that and, and just yeah, you can use small brush. Like Just confused. What is that? Okay. See? And make sure don't go inside your flower because that's these are the markers and they are washable. So if you go inside, they can come out too because so excess of water can happen. We don't want that. See over here, I'll show you. See, it spreads. So make sure not to go inside your leaf or your flower. And you can always cover one side first and then try to go on the other one so that your strokes will look straight. So as I told you, they try really fast. So I'm going to try that there. So we're not going to do second thing on that. So if you need more lighter shade in watercolor, so how it works. So for the darker one, so see if I'm going to put my brush in there, so I'm going to put it up here. It's kind of dark, right? So just to make the lighter shade of this one, we're just going to use water and spread it. So see? It's kind of light shade, right? So, but we don't want different shades in there. We just want one shade all the way. See? 
So just try to fill all of it over the other there we go. We are almost done with this one. So this was super easy to draw. So we just have to make a U and that's it. Basic just to start with. And just two petals. I know three petals in there. And then we are all done with it really far. There we go. So I don't have what to do inside here. Stems too, because sometimes we miss to do inside. So, see, it's easy, right? So, here we go. We are done with our tulip flowers. Hope you enjoyed today our project on tulip flowers. And if you like it, make sure to thumbs up. And follow us on Facebook to get updates on this project in our series. Thank you.